The Watchman prayer meeting, which raises the absolute partisan, is taking place with the scattered disciples who have the covenant of world missions. The 2024 Japan Evangelism Conference took place on the 8th for two days. The 8th Asia Business Persons Conference will take place in November at Bali, Indonesia. In the answer of raising the absolute partisan in the church and field, the Female Pastors Retreat will take place on November 4th at the Dokpyeong RUTC. Hello, this is the RUTC News. The Watchman Prayer Meeting, which raises the absolute partisan, is taking place with the scattered disciples who have the covenant of world missions. Holding to the Christ-given covenant of seven partisans, seven journeys, and seven guideposts, the Watchman Prayer Meeting, which unites scattered disciples across the world in oneness, began October 7th. The Watchman Prayer Meeting, which raises the partisan of light towards the 237 nations, is open to multi-ethnic disciples of the 237 nations. It takes place on light every night at 10 p.m., excluding Fridays. The link to enter the online prayer meeting is on the WEEA website and the HQ Kakao open chat room. The Bartisan movement which raises disciples of world missions who have come out from the disasters of the past and will block the disasters of the future. Last week's Saturday course service was the World Military Missions Conference at the Dukpyeong RUTC. The 21st World Military Missions Conference opened with the theme, the time schedule for the proliferation of military disciples amidst the spiritual soldiers who will save the military field. This year's Military Missions Conference proclaimed five lectures titled, Military Missions and the Covenantal Gospel, The Military Missions Disciple Who Does Things in Advance, Military Missions and the Disciple Who Enjoys the Gospel, Military Missions and the Disciple Who Will Relay the Gospel, and military missions which blocks the disasters of the world. Also an appointment and commissioning ceremony of military partisans for the proliferation of military disciples of 237 nations and the ordination of military ministers and officers who will stand as absolute disciples for military missions was held. Today's Saturday course service is being given at the Seohyun Church of the Jeju Chapter. The 2024 Japan Evangelism Conference took place on the 8th for two days. This year's Japan Evangelism Conference with the theme Watchmen of Japan Who Will Save the World had three lectures by Rev. Yu titled Secret Bartisan, Raise the Bartisan, Watchmen's Masterpiece. In Lecture 1, he relayed that watchmen must know how to keep watch 24 hours a day and come to the conclusion that God has raised us as saving watchmen, gospel watchmen, and watchmen who enjoy happiness. In Lecture 2, he proclaimed that when we raise the partisan of God within ourselves by the rhythm of prayer, 24-hour prayer takes place, and the blessing of the watchman which saves the infirm summit 237 and 5,000 will come. In the final Lecture 3, he said that enjoying the three concentrations in life is the beginning of the Holy Meditation Movement. In 24-hour enjoyment and 25-hour waiting, seeing the eternal masterpiece and challenging is the prayer that sees the time schedule. Receive the perfect guidance of the Holy Spirit and prepare a 300% vessel for globalization. Especially at this year's conference, Rev. Yu met with native Japanese pastors separately and relayed the biblical evangelism method through the message titled Paul's Evangelism Preparation 300%, meeting with the Japanese three-day weekend 24-hour actualization team and giving the message to the Japan Small Standing Committee. He relayed that the actual three-day weekend answer is healing and that they must do healing ministry to save Japan and the world. Also for the Japan missionary kids, he emphasized that they must become the model of the actual prayer movement, the three-day weekend age, and three courtyards through the holy meditation movement. Meanwhile, prenatal infant and preschool remnants from all over Japan gathered to meet with children's ministers and talked about the stream and future direction of remnant ministry.
The eighth Asia Business Persons Conference will take place in November at Bali, Indonesia. The eighth Asia Business Persons Conference, which opens for the first time in 10 years since 2014, will gather the partisan businessmen from all over Asia to receive the word. They will block the disasters of the fourth and fifth industrial revolution and heal the field from dying from its after effects. Following the time schedule of word fulfillment answers, which saves the 237 and 5,000 tribes, this year's conference, which gathers the absolute disciples God has prepared in the business field, will run from November 12th for two days in Bali, Indonesia. Registrations are open until October 31st at WEEA. Meanwhile, the October European Business Persons Conference and Evangelism Conference will take place from October 29th through the 31st for three days in Munich, Germany. The Business Persons Conference Lecture 1 will be on the 29th at 6 p.m., Lecture 2 on the next day at 11 a.m., the Evangelism Conference Lecture 1 on the 30th at 5 p.m., and Lecture 2 on the next day, 31st, at 10 a.m. Same-day registrations are open, but room and board will not be available. The 2024 Southeast Asia Evangelism Conference and Philippines Remnant Conference will take place on December 17th and 18th in Clark, Philippines. First, the Philippines Remnant Conference will open on the 17th with the theme, The Opportunity to Save the 5,000 Tribes. And the Southeast Asia Evangelism Conference will take place on the 18th with the theme, The 237 Opportunity. Details are available at the WEEA website. In the answer of raising the absolute partisan in the church and field, the female pastor's retreat will take place on November 4th at the Dokpyeong RUTC. The female pastors in the historic stream of the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd RUTC Eternal Answer will gather and take a hold of the word which will be fulfilled as their covenant on November 4th. All pastors and pastors' wives, female pastors, may attend. Lecture 1 will start at 11 a.m., Lecture 2 at 7 p.m. Registrations are open at WEEA until October 31st. The Church Officer Graduate School Fall 32nd Semester Lecture 4 will be broadcast through RUTC-TV at 5 p.m. on the 20th. The principal of the church officer graduate school, Reverend Yu, will relay the message titled, The Evangelism Studies That Church Officers Must Know, Too. It will be broadcast on RUTC-TV. This semester will not have any in-person evangelism studies lectures, only online. All registration offering proceeds of the Church Officer Graduate School is being used for the future church fund. The 5th World RTS Conference will take place on October 24th at the Dokpyeong RUTC, gathering the spiritual leaders who will restore the gospel and lead the evangelism movement this year's conference opens with the theme, The Least Will Become a Thousand, The Smallest a Mighty Nation. Open to RTS students, graduates, alumni pastors, and overseas students, and students of the Evangelism Theological Seminary, only mentioned participants can attend. Registrations are open until October 18th at WEEA. The November 237 New Believer Field Ministers Training will take place November 5th. Registrations are open at WEEA until October 30th, 6 p.m. The Remnant Global School is taking incoming students for the 2025 academic school year. 유대인들이 
서민 이방인이라고 했을 때 예수님은 만민 땅거 드렸다니까 교회는 한 2세기 뒤들어지고 네피림들은 세기를 따라잡고 가고 있는 거예요. 랩런트 운동을 해야 된다. 랩런트에게 올인해야 된다. 제대로 키우지 않으면 복음은 없어지고 교회는 죽는다. 그래서 랩런트 국제학교 만들었습니다. 그게 랩런트 글로벌 철치라는 RGS입니다. Welcome to Remnant Global School. I am Esther Choi, the student pre-resident. I'm going to look at RGS to find out why this is the right place for us now, why we should train here now, why we should be here now. RGS is the school that nurtures remnants to possess both the gospel and skills to succeed through the gospel and to gain victory even after success. Here we're given opportunities to establish gospel-centered lives and to create good habits as our nature. In addition, by utilizing God-given power, you gain academic success and become equipped with a spirituality and a reasonable attitude for the sake of the 237 Healing and Summit during this critical phase you are being trained at RGS. RGS also fosters us to gain independent skills to overcome our shortcomings. At RGS, we discover the me whom God has made and our God-given talents. We also pray, organize, and decide in our daily personal application. Undoubtedly, this is the greatest field to receive healing regarding our spiritual problems in daily life. RGS also prepares us with practical language skills and expertise, which are the beginning of globalization. Through reading and internships, we discover our expertise. In addition, we personalize the CVDIPs of the Seven Remnants and ultimately through the Gospel. We are instilled with the power of influence to evangelize the world and receive answers to challenge toward the future. This is This week's offering Disciples across the nation and the world continue to send their heartfelt offerings to the 237 Center and RUTC this week. This week's announcements. The 2024 Fall Semester RU Doctoral Course will start October 15th for two days at the Dukpyeong RUTC. The 2025 Department of College Missions Camp is taking additional applications. Next week's Saturday course service will take place centered on the Jungbu region in the Dejin chapter at the All Nations Mission Church. May you become the witness who enjoys the 300% answer which raises the partisan journey and guidepost of the throne. This concludes the news. Thank you.